evidence of sins all around us. Friend, in your own heart, you don't have to look in the news and see the wickedness that goes on in this world. But friend, all you have to do is look in your own heart and you will find that you have sinned against God. Today we've come to the corner of Ben Dundas not to lobby for any political party, not to receive donations or not take in money, but to simply preach the gospel, to simply preach to you from God's word. If you like your own copy of the Bible, we are giving away Bibles for free. They're in the box there. We encourage you to come and take one for yourself so that you can read the Bible for yourself. You don't have to hear anyone's opinion on it. You can come and take your own Bible and read it for yourself in your own time. I'll read from the book of John in chapter 3. The book of John in chapter 3 and verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son of God shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. I'll read it again. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. And friend, today the message we come to preach to you is centered around the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because friend, if you're ever going to be in heaven one day, you're going to have to make sure you have a meeting with this man. For the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one who can forgive sins. Friend, each and every one of us here today has sinned against God. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And friend, the evidence of sin is everywhere around us. Friend, you have broken God's law, I have broken God's law, and because of our sin, we face the judgment of God. Because God has given a standard, He's given us a law, and we've all fallen short of that, we've all broken that law, we've all sinned against God, God as a holy, righteous judge must punish that sinning friend. The evidence of sins all around us. Friend, in your own heart, you don't have to look in the news and see the wickedness that goes on in this world. But friend, all you have to do is look in your own heart and you will find that you have sinned against God. And friend, God will hold you accountable for your sin. The scriptures say the, the thought of foolishness is sin. The Lord Jesus Christ said while he was on the earth, him that looketh with lust has committed adultery already in his heart. So friend, God will hold you and I accountable not only for our actions, but for our thoughts. And we've all been found guilty before God. That's what it says in Romans chapter 3. For we know whatsoever things the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and that all the world may be found guilty before God. And friend, today, you and I, because of our sin, find ourselves under the wrath of God. We find ourselves facing the punishment that our sin requires. But friend, today the gospel is good news, and we can preach unto you Christ and Him crucified. We preach Christ crucified, the Apostle Paul said. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and on the third day he rose again. Because you see, friend, God can't overlook our sin. God is holy and he must punish sin, but friend, God loves you. God has demonstrated his love towards us in that while 
we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Friend, God loves you so much, and God does not want you to perish. God does not want you to suffer the wrath for your sin so much that he sent his son from heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, who was absolutely perfect, became a man, and he went to the cross, and on the cross, God punished his son for your sin, friend. God punished his son for my sin. And friend, because Christ has suffered the punishment that our sins require, because Christ has suffered the punishment that must be dealt for our sin, every sinner that would come in repentance towards God, that's simply acknowledging and recognizing that when God says we've sinned against Him, we have. If sinners would come in repentance toward God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, friend, if you were to trust Him, if you were to put your faith in Him who died for the punishment that your sins deserve, who took my place there upon the cross, all we like oh, really? sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him, the Lord hath laid on the Lord Jesus Christ, the iniquity of us all. All our sins were laid on Jesus. Jesus bore them on the tree. God who knew them laid them on him. And friend, if you were to trust the Lord Jesus Christ, who suffered the punishment that your sins deserve, he suffered the punishment that my sins require, Friend, if you were to trust him today, your sins would be forgiven. But friend, if your sins are not forgiven, if you do not put your faith in the Son, then you will face the punishment of God one day. All liars, friend. You know, if you're going to ask most people here on the street today, who deserves the punishment of God? Well, they would say, maybe the murderers, maybe the rapists, maybe the worst of society but friend all sin is breaking God's law and all sin will be punished but friend you don't have to be punished for your sins today you don't ever have to die and go to hell if you were to simply come and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered that punishment who suffered the wrath that your sin and my sin deserve if you were to trust him today I am the door, the Lord Jesus Christ said. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. You can be saved from your sins. Your sins can be forgiven. You can be born again and have eternal life. Because Christ died for our sin. Because Christ suffered the punishment that we deserve, friend. If you put your faith in him, you will be saved.